five with police in Green Bay and Ashwaubenon investigating two deadly crimes that happened fewer than 12 hours apart. Local 5's Barrett Tryon is taking a closer look. Overnight, an attempted murder-suicide on Green Bay's east side. A female individual with a gunshot wound, um, but appeared to be uh, somewhat conscious, semi-conscious, and another individual that appeared to be deceased. That woman is expected to survive. It came less than 12 hours after a shooting in Ashwaubenon that left two dead. The incident uh, yesterday on Cedar Ridge is still under investigation by our department. Investigators there still trying to piece it all together. While it might appear relatively straightforward on the surface of it, our investigators are working to uncover more of the backstory as to what happened and what led up to this so that we can provide a comprehensive picture of what all happened. New data from the FBI shows that last year, homicides across America jumped 30%. That is the largest year-to-year -year increase ever. While that number is troubling, violent crimes in Wisconsin have actually dropped since 2019. The most recent state data shows homicides make up just 1% of all violent crimes statewide. We try to figure out why these um, somewhat of an increase in violent crime is happening, especially our shootings um, throughout the city. And, um, you know, certainly that is a talking point that we, we push through. Police say it's important if you know something, say something. Meanwhile, officers will continue to follow up to figure out what happened in Ashwaubenon. If there's people that knew these uh, persons that were involved uh, personally and may have something that may be enlightening as to uh, what transpired, we would certainly be welcoming of that information, especially if it provides a clearer picture of what led up to this and what the relationship was. Barrett Tryon, Local 5 News. De Pere police are also in the middle of building their case against a suspect in the attack on a woman along the East River Trail. They say they hope to have more information available sometime next week.